Hello, welcome back to Motocast. I'm Mark and today we have a really special car. I know we talk about special cars all the time, but this one's extra special. Behind me you're seeing a Sassafras 1971 Plymouth Cuda. And yes, it has a Hemi and yes, it has a pistol grip shifter. We just bought it. We got it from our dear friend Richard Rawlings at Gas Monkey Garage. He called us up saying, hey Mark and Scott, I know you guys can sell this kind of car. Um, it's an awesome car. He bought it from a gentleman um, that restored it, painlessly restored it about 10 years ago and did a full correct restoration. This car is not a real Cuda 1971 Hemi four-speed car. They only made about 108 of those cars and a real one fetching anywhere from 250 to a half a million dollars in today's market. They're very sought after cars. Um, but this one is a absolute correct tribute. And just to get into the entry level of this kind of correct uh, restoration on the car, you're 40 grand just to get that Hemi, just to start this. That doesn't count the, uh, the body work, getting the actual car, uh, the four speed transmission, and all the uh, other little nits and the little pieces of, of Mopar. And if you ever restored a Mopar, you know that's extremely expensive. All the American manufacturers were putting all the horsepower, making the largest engines they could. But the one thing that I always think it's so different about Mopar is they almost seem like they were limitless. Almost like when they're on the design board, when they were drawing these cars up, when they were designing them, the performance, the looks, it seems that there's no one saying, oh, you can't do this, or the regulations can't do this. And when you step back on this car and look at some of the things of how wild, this is a production car. This is how this car, this was a real 1971 Cuda. This is exactly how it was in the showroom. When's the last time you've seen a new car that put shaker on the hood? Um, and you actually have that pretty, pretty neat font, almost looks like it's absolutely shaking. But again, this is a factory, you know, from Mopar, um, right from their design team. Another thing is look, let's go straight to the color. Dodge and uh, Plymouth and uh, Mopar did high impact colors, where basically were sublime green, sassafras green, um, the plum crazy purple, just crazy colors. Now we just see whites, grays, muted blues, browns, and today's traffic. But back in the early uh, 70s and late 60s, you saw these bright colored cars, and they're gorgeous. So first thing I really want you to know, you can't miss it, is the actual green. Uh, Sassafras green is also kind of like sublime green. It's a wild green, you don't miss it. Now we're inside of this extremely powerful uh, 1971 Hemi Cuda. Um, the inside is somewhat spacious, but it's pretty Spartan. Um, what's really cool about these interiors versus you'll see anything from the 1960s or 70s is, is, is as the favorite as Joe Garrett is, the uh, pistol grip uh, four-speed shifter. Um, this is a factory item here. It's a very desirable item here. There's nothing like this in a factory car anywhere at any time in any decade, so it's, uh, it's a pretty neat part. Um, another thing I love about the uh, 70s Mopars, early 70s and the late 60s is, you'll see here, it's got the, uh, the car bear, and you pull this guy out here on the six pack, it's called the air grabber. You pull this guy out here and open some basically vacuum, open a couple vents, and the hood scoop to let those uh, dual quad carburetors breathe some more air. I've been let down a lot of times. I've driven cars that I've been told are this fast, that fast, and I get in it and it's disappointing. And, and some people could say, well, it wasn't tuned right, but I know for a fact some of these cars were tuned exactly right. And But they were heavy cars, so some of them didn't perform as, as well as great uncle or great grandpa told you, exception of one brand, and that's Mopar. And the first time I drove a 446 pack, um, a 69 Roadrunner, wow, I was like, okay, now I get it. This is the muscle car wars. This is the height of it. These guys were definitely uh, taking it serious. Well, the next step from that is the Hemi. It's probably the best production motor put in a muscle car at any time in any decade. I don't know if people will argue with me with this, but after you actually experience a stock 426 Hemi that's putting out a conservative 425 horsepower, you become a Mopar believer. You can't do things like this anymore. So it's uh, that's why people are paying a quarter million to half a million for the real ones like this. They were so wild that uh, 
you know, there's not many out there to go, go out there and get. So if you're a lucky owner to get to own this, it's, it's one of the best experiences that you can actually drive in a car. I mean, it's awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. We always have a good time here at Moto Exotica. Hope you will too. Now, be sure to like us and share us and do whatever you do on all those social media platforms. We're on all of them. So, thanks again and get out and drive.